Welcome to the Hit 30. <laughs> hit 30. Hit 30. Harmony. Yeah. <laughs> Single is all in my head. The album is 727. It's out now. Lauren, Dinah and Camilla. Welcome, ladies. What's up? Hello. Thank you for having us. Hello. Welcome, ladies. Um, you have been very busy over the last couple of weeks. You're in Japan. Yes. How was it? South was America, Japan. No, now we're in Australia. Australia. We said the same thing. Oh. What was your favorite thing about visiting Japan? The toilets. Because they're <laughs> weak. Well, they're I so am not strange. alive. No, 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 no. These oh, toilets. The these toilets. I literally took a picture of them because of how much love oh I have for them. Friend, they are the most high tech toilets, and they're everywhere. They're in the public bathrooms. They they're in the hotel, fancy hotel, the airport. It's, it's everywhere. It has a privacy setting, so if you're like, you know, not really wanting anybody to hear what you're doing, you can play it, and it's just like amazing mm -hmm. sounds play. Yeah, yeah, it like has like that. it has a little sure. button that you can press for some, Go straight some, up there. Sounds like you know, some, some cleanage. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> it's right amazing. At the airport. Um, I'm glad I asked this question. <laughs> right? at, the airport, at the airport, when we got to Tokyo, I saw the toilets, and I pressed like, because I didn't understand what it button, said. Right? No, no, not the privacy oh. button. There was just like, literally, there's like a picture of butt cheeks with like a spring <laughs> of water. Real. And so it's I like was a whale. like, oh, what is this? So I pressed the button you and I was already like, this is a toilet. I was already like off the toilet. So I, I pressed it and the like spring of water fountain. literally shoots at my face. <laughs> like a bubbler in high school. And wet my entire, I was wearing a onesie, oh, wet my right. entire onesie. I was oh, like, <laughs> yeah, but the next time I knew what it was for. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I stayed set there. Also, they're really clean and respectful, which is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody great culture. So, um, if you moving on from toilet. So we love Japan. Love Japan. That's how much we love Japan. We I mean, about their toilets. does that mean that you guys are loving Pokemon Go? Oh my God! What I just is that? that? You got to get this. I just downloaded it. I need to get it. You have to play. I, I was literally. Play Pokemon you don't need to get it. You don't need to. Pokemon was my obsession. You do. Taking up all of his time. I was gonna tweet, "What the hell is a Pokemon Go?" Don't start. I'll start a fight with you. But I thought, yeah, I thought. I would get a lot of flack for that. In what nice is it though? What is it? Uh, it's like a virtual game where you go like hunt Pokemons. I didn't they have it before? It's the world's best gift. It's basically um, the best <laughs> the game that's ever existed. It's time waster. That's true. But I caught a Riodan in the reception at Sony. So if you need to download it, there's a Riodan waiting out there. So that's a little heads up. Just wondering if you were in it. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is going to be a strange question um, from an Australian radio host. Uh, but we, Shadow Sister and I, our producer, we went to Dancing with the Stars for the grand final in America. Oh, you saw it. We saw you oh, and we loved it. Thank but you. A question. You guys were wearing these gorgeous glittery silver outfits, except for you, heavy. Camilla. I know. What? How, was it? Was that intentional or did no, something No, there was. I a, thought that. No, there was an outfit malfunction. I thought that might have and been so the case. And so the day before, like we, I had like. Like we had come up with like a sketch for my outfit. I tried it on, it didn't work. Oh, no. And like two seconds before they brought all these options that were literally, I was drowning in them. They were so big on me. They were so big on me. And so the only one that fit was that one. Well, you looked so heaven, I was like, but I was like sitting in the audience, like, <laughs> something's gonna miss here. Uh, like, the, like the pictures where it's like something doesn't fit. <laughs> the outfits were freaking heavy. Yeah, all the they sequins so and the beads So stuff. I don't think you would have lasted anyways. Yeah, I know. I think it would have just dragged me down. Oh, you all look great. And that's when we got to see Flex all in my head for the first time. Yeah. Uh -huh. We performed it again here um, in Australia. Um, when we landed, we got we performed at The Voice. Yes. We performed Flex. It was so cool to perform in front of Jessie J. I freaking love her. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. so sweet. I love yeah. her. She came up to us before the performance. She gave us a big hug, each and every one of us, before we performed, because she knew how nervous we were. Yeah. I was going to say something on that, because you guys came and did an acoustic for us a couple of years, or last year, I guess, yeah. and you did Sledgehammer, and when you guys were practicing, we surprised a fan, and she kind of sang with you guys. Oh my god, I remember that. That was, that so, was so fun. Cute. She was in that room. Yeah, but there's a moment, Dinah, when you were singing, what? and um, I think, Lauren, you turned to her and went, that was Jessie J, girl, and you were like, oh my god, thank you! <laughs> probably. Yeah. I mean, Dinah's always hitting them notes, so I probably did. Every time, good. and every time Dinah hits a note, you you know she's hitting a bomb-ass note when I'm like... <laughs> Make the face. I'm looking straight out, I'm like, oh, oh god. Oh, so nice. <laughs> uh, you did do the voice, but you guys, we came to know you via X Factor. Mm -hmm, Wondering yeah. now, four years on, would you do the same audition songs that you did for X Factor, or would you change it? I think, so Dinah, yours was If I Were, were a Boy from yeah. Beyonce. I think so was. That was my seventh choice. I actually didn't perform that one first. My first Oh my God, they shut you stage. down? They did. Simon, stop me, I was <laughs> scared. He made me sing, um, what, my first choice was um, I'd Rather Go Blind by Etta James. Oh, 
beautiful. And I was almost at my favorite part and he stopped me. And no. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the end. This is the end. He's like, do you have any other choices? I named <laughs> out my favorite song by Jesse J, Big White Room. I yeah. named out all my other favorite songs. And my last choice was, was If I Were a Boy. But I never rehearsed it. I didn't know the track or where to start. I didn't know anything of it. But I took so you a would chance. change it now? <laughs> I actually wouldn't. Well, I would have yeah. done the same yeah. song. Yeah. It worked. What about with you, like these days? I mean, you guys, I'm going to say the biggest girl group in the world right now. Oh, uh -huh. You got it. Yeah, it's out it's there. there. You got out that. There. But what about like, like the sound effect. you know, they're always creating more. I mean, there's another season of I think Mary's Got Talent and there's X Factors are all coming through. What about like the new Spice Girls spin-off? Have you girls seen the... No. There's like a woman yeah, empowering with the Spice Girls backed approval. Do you guys kind of like support each other? Like, do you go, yes! Or in the back of your mind, you're like, golf cut like... <laughs> like other girl groups you mean yeah. oh yeah no we're super supportive of other girl groups like I think it's a really dope message to be out like multiple women we know what we go through you know and we know how hard it is so like I, I mean I personally and I'm, I speak for all of us when I say it like we, we just give mad support to any girls out there doing their thing and, and putting out that positive message we all want to support that Actually, I just hate yeah. every other male radio announcer <laughs> that's actually the truth of I'm in her. competition <laughs> um, let's get to the album 727 yes. um there are a lot of features on there from like hip hop, R and B kind of artists. Yeah, Missy Elliott, Fetty Wap, Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, we like them. Nowadays, do you guys still consider yourself a pop group, or what are you? What are you thinking? Are you R and B? We are yeah. a pop group. We're, we're a music group. <laughs> it's fancy we're a music, music group. I think we just have a bit more of an edge now that we're speaking of 727. There's yeah. more of an edge to us. Um, I think we got more in tune with that um, this time around. The first time with our album reflection, we were still trying to figure out who we were at the time. Mm. And with that time that we had a year and a half, um, we kind of were honing into who we were and like, okay, let, what's this? Like, who, who, what are we going to sing about now? What kind of sounds are we going to start playing around with? Um, <clears throat> so we've had a, a great team and great producers who were in the room with us and they were I'm great at taking in our input and like creating our visual. A lot of good so, producers on the, you know, yeah, yeah. Tinashe. Stargate, Tinashe, yeah. Max Martin, all of them. So they've been amazing and great listeners. So thanks to them. Now you have 727. And I mean, a lot of the songs, they evolve around men. Uh, <laughs> I'm just presuming the album's about me. Uh, I mean, did, it, have you, did someone sit you down at the start and go like, because you guys are traveling the world, you were in South America, Japan, now Australia. Yeah. Did someone sit you down and go, so men like that's so not gonna happen for a few years dude that's so true though yeah that's so true oh, i haven't seen a boy in like <laughs> i mean well wait no 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 <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> no i mean like i haven't interacted with a guy my age like at a normal setting like in a party at a like in a long time like do a few months that or do you yeah i miss that for like, sure you want that part of your life back i mean i feel like there's ways to still have that but i think you know we were just in tokyo and like here i don't i don't really know a lot of people mm. do you know what i mean and we're there only for a few days so it's yeah. not like we can establish like friendships and kind of do that but i think like back at home if i have a day off like i like to kind of like you know see people <laughs> well, that makes sense yeah you want to keep healthy relationships yeah totally i mean it's it's definitely hard like i you know but you can't have everything i'll be your australian port of call girls <laughs> wait, <laughs> what'd <you say? laughs> wait what'd you say wait what'd you say tumbleweed just we'll be, i'll be your australian yeah, port of call port of call you give him a call when you arrive proto in call. the port. Proto, yeah. proto yeah. This guy. Um, proto crazy call. fans in Australia, all the harmonizers all over the world, um, have been loving the new music. But at times you find girls that they can get a little overwhelming or a little bit scary or anything like that. Or you just go, we just love you just the way you are. I mean, they're so passionate. A relationship close with our fans um, we usually treat them like we're friends like we've known them forever I mean a lot of them we've met over social media so <clears throat> when we see them on in person it's kind of cool it's like refreshing it's like hey I remember you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick it on, on Twitter mm. like that's what it was um, but it's definitely cool just to see the reaction and just to see feel the love in person yeah with our fans especially because we're from overseas 
Um, but definitely sometimes it can be a little overwhelming because we, you know, people don't really understand our schedule, like what yeah, totally. happens behind the scenes. But we honestly give all our love to our fans. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They I think, know that. yeah, like at the end of the day, they are the reason why we're here. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. And I feel like, you know, no matter how tired you are, no matter, you know, what the situation is, like you have to keep in mind that those people are there to love and I support think that's the you. Best attitude and you have really, to, yeah. and you have to just give them all that love because that person doesn't know that you're tired or had a bad day. Like if you're like nasty or rude to somebody they're just gonna leave sad and it's like yeah. you know why would you want to do that to that somebody impression. i think it's really important to you know make sure that you're giving all the love that you can as to, much as you can yeah to the people that have you know they're the reason why we're here that's so. nice um i got a good question when we said that we're catching up with you today someone asked a question and i was like that's a good question i have a pump up song i've got a calming song individually yeah. oh. What are those two songs for you? We'll start Camilla. Pump Up Song, Jump Man by Drake. Oh, Jump Man. Oh, that's great. Jump Man, that boy up to something. Hey. Hey. I won't sing them all for you, but yeah. <laughs> I like Ooh. it with the Australian accent. That's funny. <laughs> um, and uh, Calling Song, Holocene by Bon Iver. Oh, it's quite eerie. And yeah. yeah. I need to listen to them. Haunting. It, it literally just makes me sigh. Like, as soon as the song comes on, I'm like, <sighs> Ooh. Diana, yeah. you're up. My pop-up song would have to be um, This Is What You Came For. Rihanna featuring Kevin Harris. Oh, really? And that's really? my pop-up song. Um, but then my mellow song would have to be... Why am I throat? I'm so sick. Do you want a so water? Sorry. Let me get you a little <coughs> H2O. I got so sick the H2O. for a couple of days. I love that show. Yeah. Um, my mellow song, <laughs> it would actually be that one by Himogen. Himogen Heath. Himogen Heath. Oh, uh, where are you? That's the hell is Hide and yeah. seek. That's my favorite one. Hide and seek. Hide and seek is my jam. No, what's the OC? That? Wait, uh, I feel like I saw commercials of it when I was little in between yeah. Disney Channel. For sure. Mm. Your songs. Um, pump up song. I'd say worst by Drake. Oh, and worst behavior. Yeah, no, yeah, worst. Worst, worst. behavior. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and. Calming song, I'd say um, something by daughter. Anything by daughter. It's good. Yeah. We got Milk by the Kings of Leon. Milk by Kings of Leon is a very sad song. That shit makes me cry. I love Kings of Leon. They're old stuff, especially. They're so beautiful. From like 2006, yeah. that kind of. Yeah, your sex is on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hit 30.